Hey everybody, this is Road Trip Dave here, coming at you from Trattoria Al Forno Restaurant, located in Walt Disney World Resort. More specifically, the Boardwalk Inn, around the Epcot Resort area. Here is another look of the restaurant entrance here, and as you can see, it is nestled within the Boardwalk Entertainment Complex. We'll show a quick tour of the restaurant and also give a review of our experience during our visit. I didn't get a chance to film the menu at our table, <laughs> but luckily, Trattoria puts their menu at the front of the building, so you can get an idea of what they serve. They specialize in Italian and other Mediterranean dishes, starting with appetizers or antipasti, such as calamari fritti and the noce di patata. Now forgive me if I'm mispronouncing them. They also have pizzas, such as the pizza margarita, and their main dishes, or secondi piatti, are very diverse, ranging from pasta alla carbonara and lasagna al forno, to the patini di mare and parmigiana di pollo. There were some chef specials not located on the front menu, and they do change from time to time. You can also see that Trattoria has a kids menu for less adventurous eaters. This restaurant is also counted as one table service credit if you're on the Disney dining plan. When you enter the restaurant here, you'll come to the check-in desk in the lobby that feels like you're entering a large Italian countryside home, but it still feels cozy. The large sitting area is strategically located next to Trattoria's wine room, which has a great selection of wines. Here's another view of the lobby and sitting area. I really like the large wood beams on the ceiling as it gives the restaurant a traditional classical feel, along with the elegant but simple light fixtures. Trattoria has a wonderful open dining area, including a completely unobstructed view of the kitchen which gives this place a, an energetic ambiance. <laughs> you almost feel like everyone in the restaurant is all part of one big family. We started off with some drinks and here is the Italian Riesling, which was fruity and had a clean finish. This is the Italian Manhattan, which has a combination of Jim Beam bourbon and Amaro Nonino liqueur. This is a strong drink, so I recommend going slow on drinking this. We also ordered a red sangria. This had a lot of flavors bouncing around in it, and it actually had a light finish. Trattoria really has a large selection of drinks, and here's another one from that list. I believe this was the Negroni with beef, eater gin, and vermouth. This is another strong drink that has a bitter finish. Before our meal, we were given freshly cooked Italian bread with olive oil for dipping while we waited. To be honest, the bread and olive oil were underwhelming as they really lacked a lot of flavor. Now on the other hand, this appetizer was spectacular. The calamari fritti was fried to perfection with a ton of wonderful flavors. Get this appetizer or antipasti when you come here. The number one dish for our meal, the patini di mare. The chef will take special requests and my mother wanted shrimp instead of scallops. Even with that change, the succulent shrimp and creamy risotto made this dish awesome. The peche al forno intero shown here is basically a whole roasted fish with seasonal vegetables. The fish was fresh and well cooked with the vegetables complementing it. This is a great healthy meal. Next shown here is the pasta alla vongole. This is an assortment of little neck clams and shrimp complemented with chorizo, tomatoes, white wine butter, and fresh pasta. This was another excellent entree that I recommend getting if you love seafood. A dish that I consider the least risky in eating is the parmigiana di pollo. It's breaded chicken breast with Romano and provolone cheeses and what the menu calls Sunday gravy, which is really just tomato sauce simmered with a particular meat like sausage or meatballs. Uh, this empty plate did contain a dessert, <laughs> which was the dark chocolate semolina torta. 
Right. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to film it since it was so good. I goofed on filming this one too. <laughs> this was the tiramisu, which is a pretty common dessert made with espresso. As you can see, this was also so good that I didn't have enough time to show it. Overall, we really loved eating here at Trattoria Al Forno. I would rate this four and a half out of five stars. If it wasn't for the bread and olive oil, it would have been a perfect five. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, and share it with others. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel as well, and visit my Facebook and Twitter pages located in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed this restaurant review. More of these and other videos are coming your way. Until then, laters.